Kenna, you're watching First World TV on Channel 20 every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Hi, this is Rose. Keep watching First World TV. Don't miss it. days ahead but it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop and I don't mind like anybody I would like to live a long life longevity has its place but I'm not concerned about that now I just want to do God's will and he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight, I'm not worried about anything, I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. We have tried to make history a living thing and not a dead thing. I personally maintain that there is no such thing as ancient history or old history, that all history is a current event, and that everything that ever happens continues to happen. And every influence that ever influenced anyone continues to reverberate 
and continues to influence the world. How does the knowledge of our history transform the mind? Because the knowledge of your history tells you where you have been and what you have been, what you are and where you are. But the most important thing is that a knowledge of history tells a people where they still must go and what they still must be. To see.